What if there is a way to do pelvic floor ultrasound easily? Let me show you how to complete a pelvic floor ultrasound examination in the simplest and most efficient way on Mindray Nuwa R9. First, get a mid-sagittal view with the abdominal volume probe. Next, freeze the image and click the smart pelvic on the touchscreen. Then place the measuring points one by one according to the anatomical diagram markers at the lower left corner of the screen. And the parameters of the 2D image can be easily obtained, including bladder neck symphyseal distance, restrobesical angle, urethral tilt angle, cervix distance and rectal ampulla distance. Guide the patient to do the Valsalva maneuver lasting for at least 6 seconds, and then measure parameters in the same way on the 2D image. S stands for infraposterior margin of the symphysis pubis, U urethrovesical junction, E urethral axis, a retrovesal wall near urethra, the lowest point of retrovesal wall, see lowest point of cervix, a rectal ampulla. In addition to the above parameters, bladder neck descent and urethra rotation angle can also be calculated automatically. Click Smart Scene 3D on the mid sagittal view to set parameters such as the VOI box and volume angle, and get the minimum plane of levator hiatus. Guide the patient to contract the anus, lasting at least threes, and freeze the image. Click Open Closing Closed on the touch screen and adopt a 3x3 image mode. The most difficult section Open Closing Closed in Pelvic Floor Ultrasound is acquired intelligently and simply. To get the minimum levator hiatus area, again click Smart Scene 3D on the mid-sagittal view to set parameters such as the boy box and volume angle. Guide the patient to do the Valsalva maneuver, lasting at least 6 seconds, and freeze the image. Click Automatic Measurement on the touchscreen. The minimum levator hiatus area under the maximum Valsalva maneuver can be measured simply and accurately. To get the transverse section of the anal canal, turn the probe 90 degrees counterclockwise. To get the anal volume data, click 3D 4D, ask the patient to contract the anus, lasting at least 3 seconds. Move the central point to the anal canal mucosa center on plane A. Activate B plane and rotate the Z axis to make it horizontal. Activate C plane and rotate the Z axis to make it vertical. To get the internal and external sphincter of the anal canal, click image. The section can be clearly seen on plane A with the 9 image display. Nua R9 enables you to have a more efficient, accurate and standardized pelvic floor ultrasound.